So here I am at my parents' house in front of this beautiful Christmas tree my mom decorated. And another very nice boy, Rocco. Hi, Rocco. Hello. Say hi. Anyway, so today I'm going to be winding this skein of yarn into a ball. So I did hear recently that this isn't technically a skein, but it's a hank of yarn, but whatever, it's going to become a ball. I bought it from the yarn shop down the street in, well, from my apartment in Brooklyn. And the yarn is from Quince & Co. The color is this nice bluish green. It's 100% American wool. Apparently it was grown, spun, and dyed in the USA. So the reason you want to wind it into a ball first is because it'll get really tangled while you're knitting if you keep it in the skein. You often see in like shows or something, like the old woman who's making her granddaughter stand there with the yarn like this as she's winding it. But I'm actually going to keep it around my knees because I've never really had someone who's willing to just stand there <laughs> while I do this. I just first need to snip this yarn that's keeping it together. Oh, I found the end. I think this will work. I'm gonna start just by wrapping this around my hand. I'm gonna slip it out and hold it this and wrap it some more and I'll just keep doing it like this until it's done and it will hopefully look like a little ball. <sighs> Rocco got bored. So I don't know what I'm going to be knitting yet, um, but I'm taking suggestions. Um, so please let me know in the comments below what you think I should make. So some things to keep in mind. This is 100% wool. It's a worsted weight. So it's not super thin, but it's not super thick either. Let me know what you think. you don't want to stretch out the yarn. You also might wonder why you don't just buy it in a ball. And what I've heard is that um, the yarn shouldn't be stored in a ball for a long time. I'm um, getting it again. Maybe it's like it pulls on the yarn a little bit more than like a skein or a hank does. Like most yarn stores have like machines that will do this and the lovely yarn shop in my neighborhood offered to do this for me on the machine <laughs> and I said no thank you because I actually kind of like doing this there's something like really kind of fun and calming about it but I get why you would want machine to do it, especially if like you're knitting a lot or especially or if you have like more yarn or if you're in a hurry, it just is faster. But not everything in life needs to be fast. or 
I got to just a tangle mess at the end. Oh wow, look at that. My parents have a cat and I know she would love this. Also you might want to keep it away from your dogs too. They might actually do more damage to it than the cats. And again, let me know in the comments what you think I should make with this. And uh, like it and subscribe it if you want. And I'll be back soon. Maybe you'll see me make something with this. Yeah.